Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a spring inspired look using ColourPop's Sweet Talk uh, eyeshadow palette. I super love their pressed eyeshadow palettes. I have two. <laughs> so far, the two that I have, I love. This one has a lot of uh, peach tones, warm, um, glittery colors, and some very nice colors for spring. So I thought I'd create a look using this palette. This is what I came up with and I really like it. I love the touch of sparkle, the warmness, you know, pairing it with a dark red lip, which I think goes really well together. And it gives it a little bit more of an edginess and not so like soft, you know. <laughs> Anyhow, if you want to see how I created this look, keep watching. For this tutorial, I used the ColourPop uh, Sweet Talk palette. My usual H Rewind Concealer and Tarte blush and shimmer and shake also IBY radiant glow highlighter and Prosecco uh, metaholic velvet lip mousse color from hard candy and Dahlia voluminous L'Oreal uh, mascara and wet n wild eye pencil and this uh, felt tip eyeliner from my ipsy bag TTDI Ocean Grey Contacts and here are the brushes listed out. Okay, let's begin. We're starting with our concealer as usual. We're going to take a shader brush and we're going into Meadow, which is the most peach looking uh, eyeshadow on this palette. Applying it on the eyelid and just working it out. Next, we're taking a blending brush and we're going to blend the edges. Now taking a smaller blending brush, we're going into Work It, which is more of an apricot color, and we're putting this along the edges of Meadow. Now with an angled shader brush, we're going into Catch Me, which is a matte skin tone, and applying it on the brow bone. Okay, back with the shader brush, we're going into Dream Maker and applying this on the eyelid and mixing it together with Meadow. Back into Meadow because we want to keep that nice peach tone well saturated using the same shader brush. Okay, now we're going into West Side with a pencil brush and we're going to start carving out the crease starting at the outer corner and working our way inward. With the same pencil brush, we're going back into Meadow and we're going to apply it underneath to balance the top. Okay, now with our finger, we're going into side to side, which is a very sparkly shade. We're gonna apply it on the eyelid, staying away from the crease. Back with the pencil brush, we're going into ICYMI, 
and continuing to carve that crease. Okay, with the same pencil brush, we're going to feel free, which is the darkest shade, and applying it to the crease as well. You want to make sure that crease is well defined. Back with the blending brush and this time we're just going to blend out some more, staying along the edges and not spreading the color out too much. Once more with the shader brush, I went into meadow to make sure that that crease is well saturated with that peachy tone. Okay, taking the pencil brush, we're going into Melody, which is a shimmery golden shade, and we're applying that on the bottom inner corner of the eye to add a little more light. Next up is a felt tip eyeliner, and I just went with a straight line along the lash line. Now taking the pencil brush, I'm going to use this to tight line, inner corner, and applying it on the bottom of the eye as well. Mascara dime. Applying a healthy coat on the top lashes. Several healthy coats. and just a little bit on the bottom lashes just to define those lashes. Okay, next up is blush. Applying it on the apples of the cheeks and highlight with the highlighter brush. Just a little bit over the top on the cheekbones. Now taking the Mataholic Velvet Mousse Lip Color from Hard Candy, we're going to take the matching lip liner that comes with it and line our lips. And apply the lip color. Okay, the look is done. Alright guys, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and that you like this look. Recreate it. You don't need the palette per se to do it if you have peach tones and browns and maybe some glitter or something sparkly or a shimmery shade, you can use that instead and still create like a peachy, you know, springy look. Hmm. Yeah, don't forget to give my video the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel for more videos. Also, don't forget that I am on Ko-Fi. I will link that below. And also PayPal if you want to support my work and that's it. Oh yeah, TTDI. These are ocean gray, which I absolutely love, next to pearl gray. Pearl gray is like my super favorite. First it was queen gray, but then pearl gray um, after using those. I really like them because they have like a dark ring. And then ocean gray, which I think look really nice, super flattering, super soft. It's a great, uh, very almost cool gray, not as greenish, and I like that. So I will link my affiliate link to TTDI below as well. Yeah, that's it. I hope you have a great rest of your day, night, whenever you are watching this. And until next time, rock on.